All right, Crispy here with Lunge and Lures. We're at the 2017 Chicago Muskie Expo. First show of the year, always super exciting. I got the one and only Corey Allen with me here. Yep, there he is right there. Um, this year, we're, we brought out a, a bait that you are very familiar with. Very near and dear to my heart. Very near and dear to your heart. Uh, caught a lot of big fish in, in some southern reservoirs and in some southern waters on the uh, on the Chad Chad. Uh, you want to talk a little bit about kind of how you use the Chad Chad when you're fishing down there? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, I don't I don't think it's just down there. I think it I think it could come into play anywhere with an active you know, fish. Uh, the size of this bait, the fact that it's a very subtle action compared to a lot of the smaller crankbaits that are really you know like this. This one just kind of has a little bit of a stutter to it. Sorry. Um, I think that's the biggest thing. Usually when I'm catching big fish on this, uh, if you have the tendency, it's, it's kind of hard to keep the hook up sometimes, yeah. but it seems to trigger neutral and active fish between that 12 to 18 to 20 foot layer. So that's where you like to target? That's where I usually okay. like to do it. I mean, I've caught a couple fish casting on it. Yeah. Most of the time it's trolling, and I think that's simply because you can keep it down in the strike zone yeah. a bit longer. Uh, but that subtle action, I'm usually going, I'm not going to lie, 1.5 to 2.2. Okay. And I'm usually twitching the bait. Like, yeah, I know you like right to. I just tap it, yeah. not ripping it. Just kind of make it literally just do that. Okay. And it's amazing how many times that just doing that turns a fall into a strike. So you what, don't even know you a fall. What time of year like do you like to use it? What's your water temperatures for when you're trolling in, in that depth range? Uh, well, um, I've caught them as early as April doing that technique. Okay. Usually they co-spawn for us okay. in March. I mean, I think it could work almost any time. You've caught them as late as November. Okay. Big fish. Excellent. I think I think it's more of a thing of if the fish are inactive and they're even relatively susceptible to some kind of a small trigger like that. Yeah. I think that this, this is a really good way to do it. Yeah. It's a really good way. Well, it's cool because, you know, Corey's been beating me up for about a few years now. When are we coming out with the Chad Chad? When are we coming out with the Chad Chad? And now they're finally here. I know you get a chance to try them down there uh, over the last year. Yeah. I know they put a few fish in the boat. So, uh, exciting times for Lunge and Lures. Uh, 2017 Chicago Musk Expo. Come check out the Chad Chad.